What's going on everyone, it's Greg back with another Mirror 4 video and today I want to talk about the conquest and the towers and you know the importance of those and we're going to go, kind of go over what each one does and tell you a little bit about that. So first and foremost, what am I talking about? We are talking about the conquest which is right here and this is where all your towers are. So before I get into this, I feel like I should get into a little safe space. I'll be right back. All right, so I just want to make sure I wasn't in the middle of fighting some of these monsters. I'm not, don't have the 100% survival success right here, but let's go ahead and get into the uh, conquest. So the center of the conquest, I mean, not, I guess it's not technically the center, but the primary root of the co conquest is in this tower of conquest. This is what's going to kind of lock down most of your other upgrades. And this is what occurs pretty much at every five levels starting at like 50. I can't remember if it's 45, it could be 45. But uh, matter of fact, I think it is. But either way, you want to always make sure you can upgrade your conquest. And normally you either have like missions or requests that are part of a lot of these and just get them done. You know, party up if you need to, but get them done. What are you going to get from the Tower of Conquest? You're going to get a... Uh, market tax rate deduction, and a boss attack damage boost, boss damage reduction, and power score increase. Everything's gonna come with a power score increase. And it's also max level, not as important. I mean, it's kind of just gonna come naturally as you keep going. So right here, you can see. Why? Well, uh, you know, let me step back. What it does make you do is you make sure you make sure you upgrade your towers before you progress past those levels. So it is kind of important. So as you can see here, you're getting this boss damage uh, boost and boss damage reduction every two levels of the conquest. And then you're getting market rate at some different intervals here. So I'm currently at level nine, got to hit 65 to get to level 10 or stage 10. And as you can see, I have the other stuff done currently. Now let's go ahead and talk about all the other towers. We'll talk about the mine, which does uh, have a focus on dark steel. And some of these missions were dark steel. I have one more Snake Valley 1F mission to do, and then of course upgrade the tower. So if you look at the info here, you do get spell defense from this tower. You get a dark steel gain, like so. When you're mining dark steel, you get a little bit more. And then of course your power score from your forge. Again, I don't remember what all these require, but normally it's like requests or missions. In this case, I need to do elite abandoned mine 3F common missions. This one's gonna give you physical defense as well as a dark steel storage boost. Not really anything important in the early game in terms of the storage boost, but it looks like that might become more important late game. And then of course your physical defense pretty much going up every two levels and the power score. That was the forge. Then we have the Tower of Quintessence. This one, again, you know, some different missions. As you can see here, we had to unseal, like to unseal like 40 items. Had already hit that, not a big deal. But this one, this is an important tower. This is going to unlock your um, unsealed slot so you can unseal more things at one time going to give you your magic stone expansion slot as you can see here i'm one level away from unlocking my last magic stone slot it's quite important then it's also going to give you the power score boost and a pvp attack damage boost but you got to keep in mind that pretty much everyone's getting this so you know you can expect it to go all the way all around you expect your opponent to have it as well so we do get up to plus eight on the unsealed slot expansion. I'm currently on plus five. So it looks like I'll be able to get three more slots as we progress. That's the Tower of Contestants. Then we have our Millennial Tree. The Millennial Tree is going to give you um, physical defense, but importantly, it's going to give you the uh, a boost in the Magic Square tickets and a boost in the Secret Peak tickets. So Magic Square, you get your boost at stage six and secret peak you're going to get the boost at stage 13 so i'm still quite a ways from that but that magic square one definitely comes in handy you want to do these in here you know I, I don't remember all the requests right now i'm probably on like a little bit of a harder one not really hard one per se but the other ones that i have to do make this hard because i need so many promotional materials 
the rare promotional materials. So that's next on my list to upgrade this to tier six. But I'm not too worried about it because I also have to upgrade the Tower of Conquest first. Now our portal. Our portal, again, similar, you got missions to do. This one is extremely important. Extremely important. I'm almost there. Level 65, I get to unlock the fifth spirit stone, spirit slot. So you can have a fifth pet with you at all times. Um, definitely a very important one. As you can see here, I need to get my I basically need to hit level 65. What's my training sanctorum? Oh yeah, this is a big one. I have to get this nine game manual to tier six. So I have, you know, a few more levels to do that. I should be able to do that. But this one is very, very important to get the extra spirit slot. Abandoned mine, labyrinth, one F common missions. Not too bad. I'm already five out of 10. Um, it's not gonna be too hard to finish that off. But I'm very excited for that. So at level 65, I should be able to unlock my last spirit slot. And of course it gives you a power boost because spirits provide power. That was the portal. Then we have Tower of Victory, which is going to give you spell defense and raid tickets. I don't remember if you get, yeah. So you just get one bonus raid ticket, which happens at stage five. So at this point, I'm just getting maybe a little bit more defense every other level and some power score. I find it very interesting in this game that power score does increase from some various things that don't actually give you anything. Like in here, if I go from stage nine to stage 10, I'm not getting any kind of boost, but I still get, what, almost 70 power score? That doesn't make too much sense to me. So I am currently on the one where I need to clear 25 boss raids. We'll get there eventually. Which one was that? Was that training? No, I did dip back over in the training, but here, let's talk about that real quick. We have MP, which will get increased by this. We have copper gain boost, energy storage limit boost, and PVP damage reduction. So, you know, not necessarily a huge thing. The copper gain boost is nice. And it does like gets all the way up to 32%. And then we have Holy Shrine, which is going to be heavily based on the um, Mystery Scrolls. And, you know, I need to get working on my Noble Cause and I need to record it as well. So we got a lot of work to do there. Already got my Clan Cooperation and Tower of Conquest. So if I could just finish off this, I say finish off, I need to start and finish this set of scrolls and then I can go ahead and unlock the next level of this now here you're gonna get HP and energy gain boost also uh, looks like you get up to two more experience restores at you get one at 13 and the other one at 15 that's quite nice to get uh, two more free restores it's gonna give you a total of five free restores that is pretty darn cool I didn't actually know that until I just looked at it so that is the overview of conquest a lot of these things are time consuming and just a pain and that's the ones that have to you have to do requests and then some of them like you had like 1100 energy on one i think it goes up to 1500 i can't quite remember but again you just go to some area grind out your energy overnight or something pretty simple straightforward the hardest ones are going to be those requests and you do have to sit down and work through them but of course you got my request quick tips if you need to find something that's not obvious. So I hope this helped you guys understand a little bit more about the tower. What you do want to do is you want to make sure as you're approaching the next level of the conquest, try to keep all your towers maxed out. They should always be within the same level of the conquest. So as you can see, I'm behind one level on forge and on training sanctum and on holy shrine. If I had those up, then I would be maxed out for the current stage. At 65 this will go up to stage 10 and then therefore pretty much everything else I can go up to stage 10 uh, if I have the other requirements met so it is important to do these make sure you do not neglect them this is very 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 important it's an important part of your power and you get some amazing things in there such as unlocking those slots on magic stones and spirits that's a big huge part of the game so if you enjoyed this little guide, hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on so you know when I post any more tips. And if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I would be more than happy to answer them. Um, I do not recall exactly what was at each level, so please don't just say, like, how do I pass stage four of Tower of Quintessence? Well, I really have no idea. So make sure you send me enough information if you are going to ask a question. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
And as usual, I will catch you guys in the next one.